Uh, if returns are guaranteed, if he does a SIP of at least 25 years, he has SIPs in diversified, large cap and ELSS uh, schemes. Unfortunately, he's yep. not given us his name, but this is um, his query. Okay. What if the return, if he continues to invest in SI, two yep. SIPs? Uh, I, you know, investors have reasonable expectation that, you know, return over a long period of time, if they are so well, they should be guaranteed. Mutual funds do not guarantee return. They do not guarantee any kind of return, even capital protection. But uh, looking at last 25 years, now we have had a, you know, mutual fund industry. The modern mutual fund industry started in, you know, 1993. And even before that, there are mutual funds which exist, you know, UTI, CanBank, right. SBI. They are still in existence. So we have fund with 30-year mm. track record. And 30-year track record of investment in equity. Uh, what I find is that if you would have invested in the worst of fund, in the last 20 years, and there are a reasonable number of funds with that longer history. In the worst of funds, you have not only, you know, been able to beat uh, fixed income, mm. uh, the worst fund has been able to generate more return than fixed income, and nobody has lost money. Uh, the trick is to be able to invest regularly, consistently over this and period of see time. See the compounding effect. Yes, but at the same time, mm. uh, I would like to put a rider on this that of this 25 year period you know that we have seen uh, any 25 year period in most economies except for japan there has been a phase where you know there people spot a period where a 25 year period and there wasn't a return even in india we had a phase that somebody invested at peak in 1992 the great indian scam that happened and market was able to achieve that same level and it took 10 years then okay. we achieved that 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 point of 4000 points on the sensex 10 years later 1992 okay. and then we uh, you know it happened again in 2002 or 2003 so it took 11 years but even during that period somebody would have done his sip he would have been phenomenally wealthy hmm. just the way ashray would be you know <laughs> yes uh, <laughs> he has you know he has got yeah. started and, I like uh, that. 20 years and by 20 the time years. he's 60, I'm sure he has quite a huge amount. In yeah, his but kitty. you know, you, you, he will have a lot of entry milestones, you know, uh, 20 years. And of course, he will be much well off, better off than most others because a 20 year old, I but think, I'm sure you know, he'll increase his uh, SIPs the also. The big difference mm -hmm. between Ash, Ashray is in minority uh, in a way that, you know, Ashray mm -hmm. is 20 year old and doing his 10,000 rupee SIP. I would imagine that, you know, many people like him, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, many people of his age, might be buying their iPhone on EMI. And uh, <laughs> so he will be phenomenally mm. uh, uh, rich than, uh, than most others. Okay.